So it looks like our hot summer is finally winding down. It's time to start, start thinking about our fall vegetable gardens. Now, you know, our tomatoes, if we plant those near Labor Day, they should be ready mid-November. Now that'll avoid most of the early season frost. And of course, if we've got a greenhouse kit, then we don't really need to worry about that early season frost. You know, don't forget your cabbage and your spinach. Now, after, you know, if, say you don't get it planted, you know, right away, or you've still got some more room, we could go ahead and do some planting even as late as October and early November if we go with some of our cold hardy vegetables. Uh, say for instance, carrots and radish. Those we could put in even that late and still be okay, and that's without a greenhouse kit. Now if we've got a greenhouse kit, we can basically extend our season because we won't be worried about as much the cold weather, and more importantly, we won't be worried about the frost. Now, if you are using a greenhouse kit into mid and late November, we might want to use just a small heater, doesn't have to be a big one, and we don't have to keep it hot. What we want to do is just set some minimums so that we don't, you know, get a freeze. Now, I'm not saying that it's the sort of thing we want to, you know, in the middle of December while we have three foot of snow, we're not going to want to try to heat that greenhouse with one of these little bitty space heaters, but before re winter really kicks in, and just to keep our temperatures, if you're getting occasional temps that are dropping down below freezing, those little heaters will make all the difference for you. So, you know, it's time finally some, you know, some cool evenings and some milder afternoons we can uh, get back in the garden again.